Hello everyone, it's Pixie, yay! Um, <laughs> it's a hair day, and I am doing my hair, and it's a whole process. I decided to turn the camera on because one, I need to film more content, I need to get my grind on now, like, it is time. I'm trying to get myself out of a depression, and I'm gonna try not to be too close to the camera because my eczema is um, reacting to the winter weather that we're getting and um, it wants to make me look like a zombie again yay so I am doing a whole process and I thought it'd be entertaining um, so I do this thing called the cherry Lola treatment on my hair and I don't think I've showed my YouTube channel this process. I've showed um, the the clay and everything, but I don't think I've showed the Cherry Lola. So what it is, it's a great concoction. Um, if you love mess, if you love horrible smells, it's great. It's a great thing to um, play with. Um, it's yogurt, liquid aminos, which, if, if anybody's ever tried that, it's like an um, alternative to soy sauce, but it smells so much worse. People say it smells like soy sauce that's gone bad, and um, it's kind of strong. And um, baking soda. So it looks... Oh no, don't fall in it, please. Okay. Ah. Okay. So it looks like this... Let me see how we show. Oh, no, I'm spilling it. It looks like a frothy mess. I'm sorry I can't show it, but it's like frothy brownish yogurt. It's pretty cool because the baking soda reacts to it that way. So I'm going to make a fun little mess and do my hair. It's going to take a few hours. After this, I am doing... If this can stop falling, that would be beautiful. After this, I am doing... Um, the clay and then I'm conditioning my hair if you want to know if it works other 4c girls boys whatever um, uh, it works if you do it at least once a week or twice a week probably is the most ideal um, I do it when I can so does it work for me not really, <laughs> honestly, but I still do it because I want to act like it does. It makes me feel better, just leave me alone. <laughs> and I want to be able to do it more often, but I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just trying to get myself out of a depression. I've been trying all day. It's now 6 o'clock, and I'm starting to do productive things. <laughs> oh, what the Cherry Lola does if, like you haven't done any research on it um, makes your hair less frizzy more curly or brings out your curls more makes it less frizzy so um, my hair well it was showing like that's the thing it goes away like it it wears off I guess very fast when you stop using it but there's still some curl in my hair on certain strands that's like very curly but um, my hair is prone to just being a matted frizzy mess, obviously, but it's actually a tiny bit curlier than it would be without this. So, I keep looking at myself to make sure I'm in the right, I'm going to turn it like this. If I turn the, um, what is this called, the viewfinder, and I make it upside down, Hopefully it'll deter me from um, looking at it. I think it does. So I'm putting this in a funnel. Oh, that's probably too much. I'm putting it into a bottle that squirts. So I could do it like that. Which makes it a bit less messy, but not really. And I made a mess like I usually do. Great, great. <laughs> ah! Sorry. Maybe I can show you it now that there's less of it. No, probably not. Probably not. But yeah, you can look it up <laughs> if you want to see 
Um, so yeah, and then I put it in this bottle. So now it looks like that. Um, I'm going to wear gloves because it kind of irritates my eczema. Should it be going on my scalp then? Probably not. But, you know, it helps my hair. And that's all that matters. And my eczema is a bit better because I take medicine. It's about time to take medicine, which is also why my allergies and my eczema is looking kind of atrocious right now. Better than ever before, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I try to saturate it slowly. Stop poking me in the face. Ugh. That's better. My hair is growing and breaking less, which is pretty awesome. But I wish I could just keep up this kind of process more often to make it less, more curly, more curly and uh, maybe manageable. Because there are beauty gurus who have 4C hair and can manipulate it some days to make it like curly and um, looser, you know? And I'm just like, how in the world did you do that? I don't understand your wizardry. I don't get it. I thought I had the formula. Not too sure anymore. I feel like there was a time when my hair was more manageable and I don't know. I think it's because I was moisturizing it more. I don't know for sure though. I'm gonna watch some YouTube or Netflix or anime. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna do that and then come back and show you what my head looks like saturated with this stuff. Because my hair is soaking it up because <laughs> I don't hydrate it enough. Okay. Is it going? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm almost done. My food came, so I want to eat that. I think I, I have to keep this on my head, so I think I'm going to eat while I will just, while this saturates my head. Um, I'm almost done. Um, I think I was talking about how my hair is growing and stopped breaking, which is amazing. I don't know why it stopped breaking because I don't really take care of it that much. <laughs> um, but I guess I take care of it more than I ever have. And I stopped putting heat on it, which probably helped a lot. Um, last time I put heat on it was for Anime Next, which was half a year ago. So. So I either wear it naturally, or wear a wig, or wear a weave, which is probably why. But I still suffer from trichotillomania when I'm stressed, or depressed, or anxious. So if you ever question why the sides of my hair behind my ear are so short, or thin, I pull it out but I'm lucky that it's not my whole head because some people have it so bad they pull out all the hair on their whole head um, it's gross because I have my nappy hairs everywhere my balls of hair everywhere but it's not as bad as it could be it used to be worse when I was in school and really stressed out and depressed and having a hard time so at least that's better things that cause my depression are like worrying about my future and career and negative thoughts about myself um right now how i'm dealing with that is just kind of pushing through and doing the things i gotta do things that I plan to do to move up in life regardless of the negative thoughts regardless of what I think the outcome is going to be regardless of if I think I'm going to fail although those feelings 
feel like they <laughs> they really take over and they really feel like they matter and they really feel like I need to focus on them but will they do anything will they help me nope they will not um, I need to focus on the back of my head because that that's the most struggle point Oh no. I'm just trying to, regardless of how I feel, because I figured out that there's kind of, kind of no way to just totally change my emotions and thoughts. I've been trying for all of my life <laughs> and it hasn't been working <laughs> like I always tell myself that like one day I'm going something's gonna click and I'm going to feel better and I'm going to be able to just have a great life that was my dream that was the way I swore I knew I was gonna get better. Like in the future, something's gonna click. I'm gonna meet somebody that's gonna say something to me that is gonna make everything feel better or my perspective on the world's gonna change and I'm gonna just be a whole different person, beliefs and all, and emotions. But I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> And um, I'm starting to realize that regardless of the parts of the brain that you can't just change like that, um, you gotta still go for things and try and it's not an overnight thing, it's not something that just clicks, it's something you have to work towards. So I'm hoping that I'm working towards it the right way, um, the correct way, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep myself productive and decently happy to an extent, as happy as I can be, and just push through everything, and eventually. With the hard work you put into feeling better and getting better and um, working at things, you will get better. So I'm focusing on working harder in every way. <coughs> So, excuse me, instead of just giving up for the whole day and just being like, nope, um, I'm becoming more of an adult that can't do that. So, I am spending the whole day trying to force myself to be productive. Although, it's hard, and I didn't end up being productive until 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, I did it, <laughs> eventually. And I think that's progress. Honestly. I think that is more progress than you guys even know. I am doing my hair. I turned on the camera to vlog it. And I've done other things, like research things that I'm supposed to be doing and um, all that good stuff. So I'm sorry that today's video is also not the highest energy, most entertaining video. Um, but I'm working on it. And I'm focusing on trying to work harder at it too. So, I finished this. I think, hopefully the back is saturated enough. I honestly didn't have to use 
as much as I made, but it's fine. Um, I don't want to saturate it too much because it will drip down my neck really badly. Which I am probably am saturating it too much, but I just want to make sure I get it everywhere. And no strands are missed. I'm probably putting it in the same places, but it'll drip down. <laughs> But my food is here. You guys already saw the um, the clay part, and then I'm just conditioning it and braiding it. So that is the cherry Lola treatment. That's how I put it in. It's yogurt, plain fat. I put I use whole milk. Probably shouldn't, but it's like whole fat yogurt. You know, like normal plain yogurt. Um, I used half of like the big thing. I'm horrible with measurements. I forgot to look. I forgot what the measurement is. But like the big thing of yogurt, I used like half of that. Yeah. Um, and that's not enough. So I should have used three quarters. Oh, that's more than enough. That's too much. So I should have used three quarters. Um, liquid aminos, about two and a half tablespoons. And if you're using less, probably. Um, one and a half tablespoons. Same thing with baking soda. Baking powder. Baking soda? Baking powder. Baking baking soda. One of those. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go eat my food. And um yeah, I'll see you guys another time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um let me know if you have any of your thought any thoughts. If you wanna see more of something, if you wanna see um, something else, put in the comments, and I will read them, and I will take them into consideration, and I will try to make more interesting content for you guys, um, yeah, and I would love to just talk to you guys, so, like, if you like the video, so I know to make more vlogs, if you guys want that, um, uh, comment, and subscribe, share, so, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.